Hello and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to and today I am back in the 1.20 build tips and tricks world and I want to build a hobbit hole and I think that there's a very good place right here. This looks like a perfect... <laughs> Let me try that again. This looks like a perfect hobbit hole... Wait, hold on. <laughs> this looks like a perfect hobbit hole... Wait, <laughs> what is... What's happening? Um, hold on. <clears throat> This looks like a perfect hobbit hole place. Look at these hills. That <laughs> took way too many tries. I think that I will put a door here and we'll have it wrap around this way a little bit. This could be a cool little garden area. This is going to be a very informal tutorial. If you've watched me build anything before, you know I don't really like to deeply plan things out. I just like to to go with the flow a little bit. So we're just gonna cut back this hill a little bit. We're gonna try to keep it rounded. And now I'm just going to make a place for a door. I think we'll pull the top of this hill forward just a little bit. We can have a nice little doorway right here. So we need to talk circles <laughs> because that's what a hobbit hole is, right? It's all circles. So let me, let me first of all, just get our cherry wood set up. Here we go. Also, can we talk real quick about how amazing the new animations in this biome are? With the leaves that are blowing in the wind? Now, this has all the different uh, log and wood types in here so that we can just kind of pull from it as we need to. I need to decide <laughs> what combination of blocks we're gonna use here. Because in the other builds that I have done, the cherry wood has been offset by all of these darker woods. We have the dark oak here. We have the crimson wood here. I think if I add another wood type into this one, it might just be birch. I think I wanna go for a lighter aesthetic this time. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we are going to uh, make a little bit of a frame here. And then let's see what it looks like if we just make a a rounded shape with these. That's not bad. So I think we'll pull these off and then we might bring this out just a little bit more. Oh, I like that. I like the way that looks. I really do. I want the door to have a little bit more depth to it though. So I think that we would put it like this so that it's not just sitting flush with the wall. There's a, there's a little bit of perspective there. And there we go. We have a nice, entrance to a, a cherry hobbit hole. Now, this is just fine. It looks nice, but I think that it will look a lot better if we work to give it some depth. So we're gonna open this up a little bit more. I just don't know which color should be on which layer just yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now, but I want a layer there. And then we're gonna pull this out a little bit again and do a layer up here as well. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. I like it. We're gonna shape the landscape around this a little bit more later, but that will come, well, not quite yet. It'll come not quite yet. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, pop inside and create an interior space for this hobbit hole. And we're gonna poke out some windows here and there. And I will see you again in a moment. So I have gone in here and just uh, used TNT and my fists to clear out a big area. There's gonna be a little opening to the garden over here. And um, there should be enough rooms in here for a nice bedroom and kitchen and eating area, which of course are the most important places for a hobbit. So let's talk hallways. The curvature is going to be back here. We're gonna have it like this and like this. There we go. Now we have this nice curvature. So then we're gonna take smooth sandstone. I really do love this block for the hobbit holes. And we're gonna put it here and also up here as a roof and here as well. And now we have this beautiful curved hallway. I don't know if I'm liking that. We might actually go back to the slabs and put them here like this to give it a bit of a more rounded shape. I do like that, I do quite like that. Yeah, that's nice. All right, so here's our hobbit hole shape. And then I think every once in a while it might be broken up a little bit by something like this. 
we'll see. But I am going to continue this shape and this uh, palette throughout the rest of this hobbit hole and designate some rooms and then uh, I will be back and show you what I've got. And then we're going to make it all look beautiful, add some exterior terraforming and decorating and stuff, and then we will have a nice stunning hobbit hole. Now let me give you a tour. I have added all the walls and all the floors and everything. These parts here are meant to be like roots that are coming down from trees up above. This is gonna be a bedroom. This is gonna be kitchen, sitting room, eating room, all that, a huge pantry. And then this is going to go out to the garden. And so there's a few differently sized and shaped hallways here. Obviously this one does not have the curvature because not all of the rooms in a hobbit hole do. These ones do, of course. And then this one here has a little bit of a curve, but it's a smaller hallway. So we did it a little bit differently, brought down the ceiling a little bit and added these at the bottom instead of stairs. Because if you put the stairs at the bottom here, it just gets very difficult to walk through without stepping on them. So now we must go through and actually furnish this place because it's a little bit bland right now. So let's begin in the bedroom. We're going to go full uh, Barbie Hobbit mode here. We can have this here and then let's bring in a pot like this. And then we'll pop in some uh, flowering leaves. We will need lanterns and candles. Let's do white and pink, I think. And then let's grab ourselves a flint and steel as well. And then is there a good place to hang a lantern? Maybe right here? And then last but not least, we will need this. I think we should do it with moss. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. We have a blank piece of wall here though. Let me say we add a painting. Beautiful, exactly what I wanted. All right, now <laughs> uh, I think we'll we'll take this carpet through here a little bit like this. Good, yes. And then we're going to need um, lanterns out here in the hall. We can put one here. We can put one here, and then maybe on either side like this. Now it's nice and lit up, and then maybe we'll add a few candles and pretend that they're not going to be able to burn anything down, right? Oh yeah, that's nice, that's warm and cozy. So we can take out these torches here. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Now is there anything that we can do to the walls here? I might want to try this. Is this going to look nice? I do like that. Let's make it not every single one. Maybe like this, and then we can add a little bit in here as well. I do like that, that's nice. Okay, so now I think we have this area pretty much done, but we might add a few more things in here. We might add a few more things. I'm gonna come back to this space later. I think I, think I wanna spice up the walls a little bit more, make them a little bit more interesting. But for now, we're going to remove all of this stuff and bring in some brick instead. I think this is a good place for a fireplace. So I'm going to bring it out from the wall just a little bit like this. And then we'll punch that down there and break our way inside the wall. And then up here, what is the best way to close this off? Um, I think we can just do it like that. That looks nice. And we can pop iron bars right here in front of it and boom, a fireplace. Now what we need to do is go directly above this. <laughs> so let's see if we can just punch our way up here. Good, all right. So is this gonna be a good place that's visible from back here? Yeah, we can make this work, we can make this work. So the fire is coming out right here. So we are going to bring this up. What's a good direction to bring this? I think we'll make it curve this way. So we're gonna do this, and then this. Is this good? Hmm, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. How does this look? I like that shape better, I do. And then we can bring it up like this, and then plop a campfire at the top. Bada boom, bada bang. Oop, oh, nope. 
And now when we're standing down here, we can see that chimney raising above it, even when we're really close like this. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So let's plop the dirt back and there. And now we have a lovely fireplace and a chimney upstairs, <laughs> upstairs on the roof. Uh, now we need to figure out what to do with the rest of this room. We need, we need seating. So let's look up stairs and see what looks good. I kind of like the look of these. Maybe we can mix this in with them a little bit. That looks pretty cozy. And then maybe we can have another one right here. That's nice. That's very nice. Okay. So now we have a, a nice little sitting area. We're going to bring this carpet through a little bit more. This looks really nice. This looks really cozy. Now I would like an end table, I think. And then maybe we can do something like this. I'm just experimenting a little bit. Oh, that's a nice way to frame this area. That really is nice. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And then we can put uh, some candles over here again. I want the white candles. So I'm just gonna snag these. And we'll do the same thing that we did in the bedroom. Just add a little bit more light in here. Flint and steel, please. Beautiful. Okay, now we have a cozy seating area. I wanna bring in another lantern though. It's a little bit dim over here. So I think I'll just, or maybe we should do that. That way we can walk through here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I love this. I love this. All right, and then we'll bring these in a little bit again. Something like that. We can even stretch them onto the roof a little bit here. I love this. Okay, here we go. A seating area. Beautiful, lovely, wonderful. So now we need a, a dining table and a kitchen that we're going to put into this space and a pantry in here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's grab a lantern. One, two on that side, one, two on that side. Perfect. Perfect. Now, this is a nice little trick. If you haven't seen this before, you get a campfire and a shovel and some food that can be cooked. Here's the idea. We take these campfires and then put them down. Actually, I want them facing the other way. Put them down like this. I'm going to do that. And then we'll put another row above them like a so. I need, I need this. Perfect. I'm going to pop these right here. Give them a bit of a barrier. Perfect. And now we can put any food on here that is cookable because you can use these to cook food. So now we put a bunch of food on. It looks like an actual pantry. Like you can come in here and uh, grab a bunch of food from in here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Now we have a wonderfully stocked pantry. So in addition to this, we want to put some uh, maybe crates of food back here. So I'm going to get these again. I think we'll do something like this. And we're going to grab wart and plop these in. It'll look like a bunch of, um, it could be a bunch of cherries, a bunch of raspberries, whatever you want. But it looks like a bunch of fruit stored in here. And then I think we'll plop these here like that. And then I think we might put in a few more barrels here in the middle of the room like this. And now we have ourselves a very full pantry, which is exactly how a hobbit would like it. Do we want any any carpeting in here or anything? I don't think so. I think leaving it like this is nice. Um, I might, though, replace this floor with brick. How would that look? I think that will look good. I think it'll I think it'll make it look more like a pantry. I love this. Okay, perfect. We have a sitting area. We have a pantry. These are wonderful. Now we need a dining area and a kitchen. <laughs> I'm actually going to pause here and look up some reference pics to Hobbit kitchens so I know what I should be making this look like. And I think I have a pretty good vision in mind now of what I should do. Okay, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put the kitchen part on this side 
and we'll leave this open for a bit of a dining area. But we're gonna put these here like this and have bricks on either side. Hmm, let's do it like this. So that way it meets the ceiling nicely. Oh, that's good, that's good. And then behind it, I think we might um, darken the wall up a little bit. Let's try it with this first of all. This is just going to make it look a little bit like it's been stained by some smoke. A little bit sooty, right? I'm gonna try some mud. See how that looks. I actually quite like that. And now that I see that, should we actually try to make some of the floor in here mud? Maybe we should take these away. <laughs> I actually quite like that. That's nice, okay. So we have that there. I'm gonna grab a lantern and, uh, hmm. Let's try putting them here. See how this works for us. Now I'm gonna bring this mud brick back. Oh, I really like that actually. I do, I really like that. The only thing is that we have this really awkward line right here. So I think that we might soften up the line a little bit like this, right? And the other thing that we can do is packed mud, there we go. And we can make this a little bit more varied like this here. That's good, that's nice, okay. So we have this, um, let's add a completely different looking thing over here. I like that, I do. All right, so then we want a table. And then we'll bring this carpet in a little bit more. I am loving this, I'm loving this. Okay, lastly, I want to put a little bit of a spout here. So let's look up wall, and I usually like using these polished ones above here. Well, that creates a very solid wall there, doesn't it? Do I like that? Actually, I do like that. I do, that gives a nice bit of depth there. Okay, this is looking pretty nice. Now we need a little bit in here, we need a little bit in here. So I am going to bring back the candles that we had. I think we're gonna put a little chest right here. Boom, beautiful. Oh, this is so much brighter now. Okay, I love this, I love this. So now we need to um, plonk this here and bring a door in. There we have it. And then I'm gonna get the pots because I wanna put a few of these around here. We're gonna put a pot here. We'll fill these in a moment. I want a few areas where it gets broken up a little bit by chests. See, now we have a little bit more variation here and there's something more interesting to look at. Love that, okay. Uh, let's put, oop, let's put a big pot here as well. Let's put one right here. Let's place one there. That can just be for storage. Imagine that's a, a storage pot. And then I think we'll put some in here as well. Maybe we'll just do a couple of these little ones like that. Plop an allium right here. Beautiful. Put these here. Can't do it. Put that there. Can you not put these in a pot? I really thought that you could. You can try them here. No, you can't. What about these? Can't put those in a pot either. That's a little bit sad. That's a little bit sad. All right, we're gonna put that there because there's not a whole lot of cherry going on in this part of the building. And then I think we can put a, a mushroom here. That's cute. And then maybe another allium here. And then we need a flower for outside and I'm thinking torch flower. Boom. And now I want to add a few hanging roots to these just to make sure that it's clear <laughs> what these are. These are the roots of the trees from up above. Let's clear our inventory and we're gonna do a quick little walkthrough of this to make sure that we like everything that we've put in. So here's how it'll look from the front with a little chimney. Oh, I love it, I love it. Then we walk inside. Oh. Oh yeah. I think my only complaint is actually in here. Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. Okay, that is all of the interior done. Now we have the exterior to do. And I think I'm gonna put some moss in. Mm, we'll add some of this as well. So I am going to 
pop out of here for just a second, decorate this with some moss a little bit, and then we'll come back in to do some finishing touches with some plants and a little other extra additions, and then we will be done. And here we are. So let me show you what I've done. I have cleared out a lot of the grass like this because it creates a, a smoother effect. And then I have added in the moss to, you know, remove all of the dirt because it doesn't look very hobbit holy when you can see all the dirt poking out of the hills. So the illusion kind of stops here and here, but this main area right here, we have it all mossified. There's little bits of of grass in here still, just to give a bit of texture to it. And the pink petals actually really helped with this because the moss won't take over the place where the petals are. So that made this a lot nicer. I'm actually gonna pull this over a little bit more because seeing the dirt out of the corner of my eyes kind of, kind of bugging me. Beautiful. And then I have put in some of this mossy stone here and there just to give a little bit more texture as well. It blends in so well to the moss. And I have a few of these walls and fence posts that we are going to pop in some lanterns on. Now I think I will put a lantern here, here, and uh, up here. But on this, I would actually like to bring it up a little bit more. Do this and then a little, a little this. There we go. Now, we have our little walkway up here, but I want to add some plants in here. We're gonna put a gate here, but we're gonna leave it open. Actually, I want it facing the other way. We're gonna leave it open always. And then in here, let's see, we might bring this fence around here a little bit like that. Not a very detailed fence again, but just a little something. We're gonna pop some more bushes in here too to add to that perimeter a little bit. So I think that we will put in some torch flowers, obviously, and I would like to add in some pitcher plants as well. And then I wanna bring in some berry bushes. Beautiful. Now I would like to do a few last things in here. We need leaves and we're going to bring them over the roof a little bit like this. Add in some of the flowering ones here as well. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we'll pop in some cherry right here. Let's bring some of these leaves over here as well. They can kind of look like little bushes, bigger versions of these bushes, right? This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Let's do our final, final walkthrough. So, we have our signpost. We have our beautiful garden right here with our garden entrance and all of these bushes around. You can see the chimney stack up there. See into the bedroom right there. And let's have a peek at the inside one last time. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, one last thing. I think we're gonna put a lantern here. Oh yeah. Final touch. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, as always, consider leaving a like and a comment and a share and a subscribe. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye.